as a past tense verb. The word bashara means he announced. In the present continuous tense, bashara is an announcement. Bashara is one of several words by which Allah describes a human being. Allah made bashara from sound. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Yaqulullahu subhanahu wa ta'ala fil Quran al Qur'an, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Wa idh qala rabbuka lil malaikati, Inni khalikul basharan min sosalin min hama'in masnun. And when your Lord said to the angelic hierarchy, Indeed, I make an announcement from a tone of blackness repeated, a human is a repetitive sound echoed out of blackness. Humanity is electronic feedback radiating from a dark and heated center. Hum means black in Hebrew. Hamat means sun in Hebrew. Hamatin is blackness. Masnun is one repeated, synonymous with khalifatan. يَقُولُ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْقُرِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَاتِ إِنِّي جَعِلُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً إِنِّي جَعِلُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً Which means, and when your Lord said to the angelic hierarchy, indeed, I make in the earth a successive authority. Khalifatan, plural, a successive authority. The word Bashara is derived from a name of Allah, Al Basir. Al Basir means all seeing, all seeing, with emphasis towards the human understanding of insight. Al Basir, all seeing. Seeing, Bashara is an energy brought into existence by Al-Basir. His name is the archetype for all communication systems. Malat arkana kulli shay. His names set into motion the visual manifestation of all things. A photon is Bashir, electromagnetic radiation. Photon energy is Bashara, electromagnetic energy carried by Bashir. The information delivered to the senses in form of energy is called Bashara. The human mind is constructed on downloaded information. Both sound and vision are programmed into the memory. Every word an action performed by an individual is uploaded to a universal archive. The deletion process for wanted material is lack of maintenance, lack of an effective security system, and removal of a firewall. Lack of maintenance is forgetfulness. The lack of security is infidelity, unfaithful, unfaithfulness. The removal of the firewall is disregard for taqwa, which opens up the inner gates to the furnace. Taqwa is regard for Allah. Regard in the sense that you guard against the things which displease Allah and lead you to the fire. The firewall, dear brothers and sisters, is taqwa. The USB port on a computer is like a sensory organ, though the human design is far more complex and sophisticated. Acting on corrupt information is like opening a corrupt file. It can slow mental processing. Hence, telepathic communication requires a security system. The security system is called Iman. The firewall is called Taqwa. Iman, Iman is faith, trust, security. Taqwa is guardianship 
guarding against those things which bring about the displeasure of the one in whom you are to place your trust, the Most High. There are seven portals in the head corresponding to the seven gates of hell. Taqwa is performed by turning away from vain talk, restraining the glance, guarding against toxins, and guarding against pleasurable things that weaken the integrity. Information is inward formation of images. Imagination is inward imaging of forms. Prior to manifestation, forms and objects are illuminated inwardly. Thoughts appear in the mind as images. Thoughts are heard in the mind as sounds. Communicating in the language and frequency of the recipient. High frequency information that enlightens the soul of the recipient is called basir. Allah is al-basir, the all-seeing. Wahua al samil basir. And he is all hearing, all seeing. Basir is the internal vision of Allah's messengers and ministers. As when Moses called out to the Most High, saying, Inna ka kunta bi na basir. Inna ka kunta, indeed you are, bin na in us, basir. The insight. Indeed, you are in us, Basir, the vision, which is also understood as indeed you are in us, all seeing, or indeed you are with us, all seeing. Al Basir is the eye of vision, ocular, oculus, optic, and ophthal. Wama amru. وَمَا أَمْرُ عَسْعَتِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ And not as the command of the hour except like the glance of al-basr. وَمَا أَمْرُنَا وَمَا أَمْرُنَا إِلَّا وَحِدَتْ كَلَمْحِ بِالْبَصَرِ and not is our command but one, like the glance of al basr The lamhi of al basr is the glance. The lamhi of al basr is explained by Plato's emission theory. The lamhi of al basr as explained by Plato's emission theory, is relative to a smooth, gentle fire, which is emitted by the eye and fuses with ambient light to form a sentient body of vision. A coronal mass ejection, or CME, is an ayah of the lamhi, placed in heaven, observed and documented on the 1st of September, 1859, according to the Gregorian timekeepers, 1859 A.D. On a larger cosmic scale, a coronal emission can create a flare of x-rays around a black hole. On the 27th of October, 2015, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, published a report entitled Black Hole Has a Major Flare. In 2014, NASA captured a black hole ejection with an interstellar X-ray. Astrophysicists observed that the corona first gathers inward, then launches upward like a jet. X-rays reveal that they drive turbulent winds, blowing gas and stellar particles away as well as creating a vortex that pulls matter into the black hole. The absorption of stars into a black hole corresponds to the entry of photons into the pupil of the eye. 
the coronal emission of a black hole confirms to Plato's emission theory. The solar CME and star particle emission of black holes are heavenly eye preceding Plato's recently confirmed emission theory. The time period of Plato is four centuries before al Masih Isa, which is Christ, Isa, Christ, Jesus, alayhi salam. In the Quran, he is called Isa ibn Maryam, and he is called al Masih Isa, which is Jesus, the Messiah. The time period of Nabi Ayyub, which is Prophet Job, alayhi salam, precedes Plato by an entire millennium at 500 years. Nabi Ayyub, Prophet Job, is Prophet Job of the scripture. When Job mentioned the word Basr, it is reported that he appealed to the Most High. Ha'ayni Basr lak amki rut anustere Ha'ayni Basr lak Do you have eyes of flesh or it can be read do you have eyes of vision or do you see as a man sees this verse can be found in Job chapter 10 verse 4 do you have eyes of insight like that or do you see as a man sees? Ra means to see. Aini basralak is translated as eyes of flesh, but clearly related to the Quranic Arabic word basir. Basir is insight. Ra'a is seeing. The word basr appears in the same verse with the word ra which is the normal seeing of the eye. Basr and Rah are related to the physiology of the eye. Rah, as it relates to physics, is the radiating emission of the eyes corresponding to rays of the sun. Now back to the word luck, luck. The ancient Hebrew verb luck, it means to walk or to go and is originally inscribed with Lam, the letter L, Lam, depicted as a staff, and Kaf, the letter K, depicted as the palm of the hand. The word Lek is left out of the English translations of Job 10.14. Therefore, the meaning is altered towards the flesh. The complete translation of Aini basr lek would be eyes of foresight or eyes of flesh putting forth vision in the case of the ancient meaning of the Hebrew word lek. The English word flesh is derived from the English word flash signifying a rapid current of water or a stream of light. The Arabic sheen sound is what distinguishes basr from bashar, meaning psychic vision in contrast to a news flash. Sheen is also the sound that distinguishes basir from bashar. Basir essentially meaning infinite and eternal vision as a name of the all-seeing originator of all that is seen. And Bashir is the delivery service of that which is heard and seen. Al-Bashir is a carrier of vision, delivering the Basir of Allah. فَلَمَا أَن جَاءَ al-Bashir. So when Al-Bashir, the messenger, came, Al-Qahu ala wajhi, he cast it upon his face fa'artada basir fa'artada basir 
Then the basir, the vision, returned. All together in English now. So when al-bashir, the messenger, arrived, he cast it upon his face. Then the basir, the vision, returned. That can be found in Surat al-Yusuf, the 12th surah of the Quran. Ayah 96, the word used here for messenger, the messenger, is al-Bashir. Bashir is an announcer sent with an announcement of the truth. Yaqulullah subhanahu wa ta'ala fil Quran al karim Allah says in the Quran, inna arsalnaka bil haqq, Bashir. Indeed, we sent you with the truth. As an announcer, 35th surah, 24th ayah. Mubashirat are invisible announcers that broadcast over airwaves. Mubashirat, and of his signs is that he sends the wind putting forth announcements. 30th surah, 46th ayah. A key to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos is presented in the morning supplication of the elect, Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam. In the name of Allah, the merciful originator, the merciful sustainer. Allahumma ya man al-lisan. Oh Allah, oh the one who extended the morning's tongue. Lisan as-subahi bin-nurki tabalujihi. Extended the morning's tongue with the illuminated speech of its joyful expression. Allahumma ya man dalla al lisan as subah bin nurki ta balujihi. O Allah, O He who extended the morning's tongue with the illuminated speech of its joyful expression. O Allah, O He who extended the morning's tongue with the illuminated speech of its joyful expression. Wasarraha kita alay. Al-Mudlimi bil-Ghayahibi Talajlujihi And dispatched fragments of the night The putting forth of darkness With the obscurity of its reiterating speech Wa tuqana sun'a Al-Falak al-Diwari Fi meqadir Ta-Barujihi and perfectly constructed the rotating spheres with the decreed power of its barrage. Spear, sphere. The throwing of a spear is an example of the power and command by which rotating spheres are sent into motion through space. The winding motion of the air, also called wind, generates invisible waves throughout the atmosphere. Invisible waves that pick up particles of the earth and distribute them. Invisible waves that pick up water from the ocean and drops it on mountaintops. The Latin word spy means air or breath. A spiral is the shape of a wind vortex. The circulation of breath is called Respiration. Inspiration is the entry of spirit. Expiration is ventilation, the exit of spirit. Perspiration is an example of ventilation. The word spirit is pertaining to the air. The relationship between spirit and the movement of air is seen between the Quranic Arabic words, ruh and rih. Ruh means spirit. Rih means wind. Allah sends the riyah 
as mubashirat, meaning Allah sends the winds as announcers. In this way, information is carried by the airwaves. This is called, in modern terms, broadcasting. Wind is the winding motion of air and its subsequent airwaves. The same relationship between the words spirit and spiral, the invisible medium which is called spirit and the movement of spirit which is summarized as revolution and emotion is seen between the Hebrew words ruach and ruha. Ruach is a spirit of excellence providing knowledge, understanding, dream interpretation, and clarity to the prophets of Allah. According to Daniel chapter 5, verse 12, Ruha is the wind, according to Daniel chapter 2, verse 35. Arba'ah, Ruhi, are the four winds of heaven, according to Daniel chapter 7, verse 2. In Surat al-Fatir, ayah 24, in the Arabic we read, Indeed, we sent you with the truth, announcing and warning. Bashira, grammatically categorized as an adjective, is broadcasting. Broadcasting upon airwaves is mentioned in the Arabic Quran as Wamin Ayatihi. And Yursila Ariaha Mubashirat. And of his signs is that he sends the winds, putting forth announcements. Waliyudhikakum min rahmatihi. And for you to taste of his mercy. Watadriyal fulku bil amrihi. And for you to sail the ships by his command. This can be found in the Arabic Quran, Surah chapter 30, verse ayah 46. Mubashirat delivers good news. Mubashirat awakens the senses. Mubashirat generates wave patterns for the movement of barrages called fulku, ships or spheres. For example, submarines which are guided along the currents by Allah's command. Mubashirat are sent for our desiring of Allah's bounty and that we might give thanks. A rain dance is an example of seeking Allah's bounty. By calling out to him in the wind, thoughts directed towards the primary force of nature is telepathic communication with the Most High. Allah is ala kulli shay'in qadir, above all things. Power. Power upon all things. And the power up on all things willed into existence through his command. Allah is the infinite energy and force of animation upon all that he has willed into existence. Kulli is a manifestation of Kul and Kalima, meaning that the creation is a manifestation of a word sent forth. Hence, al alamin is the plurality of all knowledge manifest. al alamin al alamin loosely translated as all the worlds. al alamin more specifically alludes to all platforms of created existence. Allah is Al-Alim, the All-Knowing, and Al-Alamin is the knowledge manifested by the All-Knowing. Rain is the delivery of Allah's bounty. Raindrops sail through the condensed regions of his atmosphere upon rippling currents of winds obedient to his command. Al-Riyaha, Mubashirati are Quranic Arabic feminine words. Rahmat is a feminine word describing Allah's mercy. Al-Arham is the womb where Allah shapes, nourishes, 
then delivers the bashara. Procreation is repetition of the event. The falling of rain upon the earth is repeated in the example of an ovum nourished by semen, an imagery displayed in the Sama'a dunya when comets hit the sun. As above, so below. On earth, as it is in heaven, as the rain falls upon the earth, life begins to grow inside of her. Her harvest is the bashara that feeds those who rest upon her bosom. Her nursing is a nourishment for that which is cultivated within her and walks upon her. Her nur, her light, in essence, is the nur of Allah, who says, Allah is the light Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. This can be found in Surah Al-Nur, the 24th Surah, 35th Ayah of the Quran. By Allah's command, seeds are split open and raised from the interior of the earth, guided along pathways towards light. That light is called the sun in English, Ashams in Quranic Arabic, and Hamad in the Hebrew scripture. Reference Job chapter 20, verse 38. Psalm chapter 19, verse 6. Songs chapter 6, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 24, verse 23. And twice in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 26. Hamad has the dual meaning of something heated and something black. The English word sun comes from the Arabic word sana, describing the brilliant radiance of al-shams, al-shams, the sun. The Hebrew word hama describes the heat and the color of al-shams beneath her flaming hijab. Throughout the expression and expansion of sama al-dunya is reverberation of Bashara. Sama al-dunya is the lower heaven restricted by cosmic boundaries. Think of how radio waves carry signals through deep space. Bashara is the information contained in the sound wave. Bashira rides the electromagnetic wave that carries the signal, accurate and informative information that restores the senses is basir. Bashara is also that which appears upon the surface of the earth. Harvest is a manifestation of bashara. Soil is sound, solidified. Tilled soil is a rhythmic wave pattern. The ground that absorbs Electric runoff is a collection of wave patterns. Think of how verses appear on the surface of a page. An open book in and of itself is a wave pattern that carries codified information for enlightenment of the mind, which is literal food for thought. A verse is an ayah which is a sign and a science of Allah. Allah placed his ayah in the creation of the heavens and the earth. We appear out of and reside within a unified language of Allah, commonly called a universe. The creation of Allah is the contents of the kitab. What we experience in the creation are ayah contained within the kitab. Max Heindel, Christian occultist and founder of the Rosicrucian Fellowship in Oceanside, California, whose lifespan was between 1865 and 1919 A.D. Max Heindel reintroduced the Kitab as the memory of nature. Edgar Cayce, a Christian mystic, of the same time period, called it God's Book of Remembrance. Ahl al-Dhikr, the family of the remembrance, 
are those who have access to revelation. As Allah says to his messenger, Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, yaqulullahu subhanahu wa ta'ala, fil Qur'an al-Kareem, wa ma arsalna min qablika illa rijalan nuhiyya ilayhim. And we sent not before you but men. To them we revealed. Then Allah instructs the Muslims through his messenger by saying, Fas'alu ahlu dhikr. Fas'alu ahlu dhikr in kuntum la ta'lamun. Fas'alu ahlu dhikr. Then ask the family of the remembrance. In kuntum la ta'lamun. If you do not know. So ask the family of the dhikr, the family of the remembrance, if y'all don't know. This can be found in the Quran, in the 16th surah, 43rd ayah, and also can be found in the Quran, the 21st surah, the 7th ayah. Edgar Casey regarded his communications as readings, qurra, which is synonymous with the Arabic word Qur'an, recitation, read. Al-Qur'an is the recitation or reading out of input information set down upon the heart. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was given the command to recite when the archangel Jibril alayhi salam delivered the message, Ikra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, recite in the name of your Lord, the one who created. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam received this message during a 40-day period of secluded meditation. Isolated from sensory bombardment, isolated from that which is heard in the outside world, from that which is seen, because there's no light in a cave. So he was isolated from all of the sensory bombardment, looking inward, towards Allah for guidance. The gates of heaven were then opened up to him and divine revelation descended upon him. <inaudible> Indeed, we sent it down in the night of power. 97th Surah of Quran, first ayah. According to Surah Al-Qadr, تَنْزَلُّ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَرُحُّ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرِ In it, meaning the night of power, in it descend the angels and the spirit with the permission of their Lord for every command. مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرِ Look deep into this, dear brothers and sisters. مِنْ from كُلِّ every Amr, command. Amr means command. Amir is the title of the imamate. Amir al-Mu'mineen, Ali, alayhi salatu wasallam, is the primary imam. The forefathers of these imams are mentioned in songs, one five, as Ahle Qadir. Ahle Qadir means the family of power. Ahli means family. Qadir means power. Incorrectly translated as tense of Kedar. But there is no K in this word. There is a Q. And the Q is related to the Qaf in Arabic. And the Qaf is related to Qadr. Allah's power, decree, command. Ahl al-Qadr are the forefathers of Prophet Muhammad in the Ahlul Bayt. While the word Qadr is the power, the force, the decree of Allah, the Qadr is the power of Allah. All subjects of power and energy, electricity and light, wind speed, water weight, and the forces of nature are under the decree of Allah, who is Al-Qadir, all-powerful. Reference this in the Quran, Surah Ayah 54. The Quran 
is a revelation sent down upon the heart of the messenger. Reference the Quran, Surah 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah 97. As a standard of integrity, guidance, and announcements for the faithful, reference the Quran, Surah 6, Ayah 102. The Quran is accompanied by a light and a guide. Reference the Quran, Surah 16, Ayah 2. And its meanings are delivered to the faithful through late night request for a helping authority. Reference the Quran, Surah 17, Ayah 79 through 80. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructs the believers to rise up at night and pray beyond what is incumbent upon them and request from him. Rabbi at kalni mutkala sidkin wa ahraji mukraja sidkin wa ajali min ladunka sutana nasirra. Oh Allah, make me enter a goodly entering. Make me exit and make me exit a good exit. And make for me, design for me from near you a sultan and nasira, a helping authority, sultan and authority, nasir, that will help. Condemnation comes down upon those who contend with the ayah of the Quran without having any sultan, any authority dispatched to them from the Most High. In this regard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alladina yujadiluna fi ayatihi lahi bi ghayri sultani atta'hum. Those who dispute with the ayah of Allah without a sultan having come to them. Kabura maktan indallahi wa indalladina amanu. Great is the hatred with Allah and with those who have faith. Kadalika yatba'ullahu ala kulli kolbi. Mutakabiri jabar. Like that, Allah places a seal upon every tyrannical heart seeking greatness. Oh, this is found in the Quran, Surah 40, Ayah 35. Everyone seeking fame, disputing with the Ayah of Allah without getting up for that night prayer. And requesting Allah for a sultan who can guide them and teach them by Allah's command. Thinking about those who skip out on the sincere worship. Those who don't rise for the night prayer. But apply for the institution. Seeking the certification to be called honorable. To be called great. To collect personal funds in the name of scholarship. Like that, Allah places a seal upon every tyrannical heart seeking greatness. The ayah of the Quran, listen closely. The ayah of the Quran are bushra lil muslimin, meaning that they are announced to those who submit themselves to the Most High. And this can be found in the Quran, Surah 16, Ayah 102. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في القرآن الكريم قل نزل له روح القدس من ربك بالحق Say the Holy Spirit has brought it down from your Lord with the truth ليثبت الذين آمنوا to make firm those of faith وهدى وبشر للمسلمين and guidance and good news for the Muslims. 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 Muslims.